In this video, we're going to show how to do a break-even point analysis using the Goal Seek feature or tool in Excel. So here we have a scenario where we have a factory producing a certain product, and the fixed costs for producing the product are $25,158, and the variable costs per unit are $14.72, and the selling price per unit is $25. And our revenue is simply the multiplication of the units sold multiplied by the selling price per unit and the total variable cost is simply the unit sold multiplied by the variable cost per unit and the total cost is simply the summation of the fixed cost and the total variable cost and this is our profit given that we've sold only 10 units however we want to know our break-even point and our break-even point is the point at which the total revenue is equal to the total cost and that means also that the profit will be equal to zero. This is the formula for calculating the number of units needed to reach our break-even point. It's simply the fixed cost divided by the difference between the selling price per unit minus the variable cost per unit. So if we apply this formula, here are the fixed costs. And then if we get a difference between the selling price per unit and the variable cost per unit, this is going to be 10.28. So if we divide this number by this number, we get 2,447.27. So that's 2,448 units because we're not able to sell just a fraction of the unit. However, knowing the formula is something extra. You don't even need to know the formula in order to use the goal stick feature to get this exact number. If we need to know how many units to sell in order to make the profit equal to zero, we can go to the data tab on the ribbon and then go to what if analysis and then go to goal seek. And what we need to do is to set this cell, which is the profit cell and the set cell should take an input of a cell that has a formula in it because we want to change the value of this cell to become a zero. So we're going to set cell B20 to zero by changing. So the by changing cell should be a cell that contains a constant, not a cell containing a formula. So this one should contain a formula, but this one should be a cell that contains a constant. So we want to change this cell, which is the unit sold, to make this cell equal to zero. If we press OK, Excel will do some iterations and then it will reach the solution, which is 2447.27, which is the same figure here. So as you can see here, we managed to get the same number using the goal seek feature and you don't even need to know this formula. And this is the power of the goal seek feature. You can also search for something different. Let's say that we want to know the selling price per unit provided that we're only going to sell 1000 units that is going to make us break even. So again, we're going to go to data and then what if analysis goal seek and then we're going to set this cell to be equal to zero by changing the selling price. And we're going to press OK. So as you can see here, now we know the selling price that we need to ask for if we need to break even at only 1000 units. So our selling price is going to be $39.88. Please note that Goal Seek allows us to only change the value of one cell. If you need to change the value of multiple cells, then you need to use the solver feature. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to make another video about the solver feature. And that's it guys for today's video about doing a break even point analysis using the goal seek feature in Excel. If you found the video helpful, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified with future videos. And don't forget to also follow us on social media. You will find the links down below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.